few parents with kids above the age of five there because you know that at nine, shit gets real. It was really real. Like the problems that you had then seem so tiny compared to nine-year-old Mikey problems. And he's at an age now where he's going to remember everything I say to him. <laughs> you can't shake him and say, shut up. Strange applause from one corner there. <laughs> That's the good stuff, yeah. <laughs> no, like, nine's tough, because we all remember being nine. And, and you're, you're afraid to be honest with them, especially when he's lying. Like, he started to lie, like all nine-year-olds. A few porkies sneak in. But Mikey's lies are just such crap lies. <laughs> oh, mind if they were good. They're just shite lies. Here's an example of one. I'm cleaning his room and uh, he's playing with his leg on. I pick up a pair of Superman underpants from the corner, about this big. Pick them up and uh, check that they need to be washed and they definitely need to be washed. <laughs> he sees me looking at the pants. He, sh oh. he sees me looking at the skid marks. I said, buddy, are you feeling okay? Like, like, and you do, you're concerned for his digestion. You go, you all right? He goes, uh, oh, uh, those are not mine. <laughs> what? Andrew wouldn't even try that shit. Come on. <laughs> what are you doing? Not yours. What? The skid marks of the pants. And he goes, oh, the, the skid marks. I'm like, well, then we've got a fucking bigger problem. So he's planted skid marks in your pants and put them in your room. I don't know what to say to him. I don't know what to say because it's, you know, they're, they're creeping in and you're like, well, what do we tell him here? Is honesty is the best policy? We all know that's not really true. <laughs> Most of you aren't in relationships or have jobs or have car insurance. <laughs> without the ability to bend the truth a little bit. So honestly, the best policy is not a good servant to your child, particularly if you're trying to make them glick. Yeah. Someone is so invested in this show, I love it. And you're also afraid that by being really honest with him, you'll hurt him or diminish him in the way that the truth has sometimes hurt you. And maybe the best bit of parenting I've done in the last 12 months came when I was brutally honest with him. He arrives in from training, football, mud all over him, arrives in and just comes straight up to me, goes, I'm finished, Dad. I'm done. I'm not doing, I'm playing football. Oh, sorry. Daddy, I'm not playing football anymore. <laughs> I, I can't play football anymore. I'm not doing it. <laughs> what? Why? Why not? I'm no good at it. I was like, compared to who? Daughter, lads, I don't know what, I've made him into a traveler or something here. So, so bad. This is bad now. I'm sorry. I'm going to have to rewind this whole thing here. Got to take this again. Comes in from school. <laughs> in the mud. Oh, this is a bit of suddenly way funnier on the third telling. Comes in from school, covered in, covered in mud, wearing his training gear. He goes, I, um, I'm quitting, I'm quitting football. <laughs> so, Daddy, no, Daddy, I, I, I'm quitting. I'm not playing football anymore. I said, what, why? He says, I'm not good. I'm not good. Tears in his eyes. <laughs> it's like, Mikey, you're not good compared to who? He goes, the other lads at school. Might be the best bit of parenting I've ever done in my life. Got down to his level. I said, Mikey, you're all shit. face lit up. It was beautiful. <laughs> Knowing this wasn't the limit of his potential, I was like, look, they're, they're, they're shit too. They're just slightly less shit than you right now. I'm better than you at football. And I'm shit as well. <laughs>